Sebastian, and this is Mrs. Man's class, and we're doing The Night at the Museum by Malem Train. Larry was very happy. He had a new job at the night guard at the Museum of Natural History, and he had a wonderful new uniform with shiny brass buttons. When Larry put it on, he looked like a general, or a policeman, or a pilot. Larry arrived at the museum early, just as the last visitors were leaving. First impression are the most important, Larry thought. I'll give you an easy task, my boy, said the chief, chief guard. Tonight I want you to watch over the dinosaur skeletons. Don't worry about the rest of the museum. There are others to take care an eye on the dinosaurs and everything will be okay. I'll check on you in the morning. Larry settled into his chair and stretched his legs. This is a great, he thought. I'll just close my eyes and relax. There can't be any harm in that. But a moment later, he was fast asleep. When Larry woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. The dinosaur's skeletons had disappeared. All that was left is one single bone. He grabbed it and rushed into the corridor. Another guard was there. Help, help, we've been robbed. The dinosaurs are missing. Larry shouted. Calm down, there's no need to get excited. The guard com com comforted him. Probably us around somewhere. Sometimes they wander off if you're not careful. Times are slurred and wander off, Larry exclaimed. There is definitely something there is definitely something wrong. Oh yes, the guard continued. You see exhibits in the museum have to stand sail all day long, so at night we, sh we let them stretch their legs a bit. And I have something to eat. Why don't you check in the basement? The dinosaurs don't eat, of course, but they like to watch food being unloaded. In the basement, a small train had brought in tons of food for the elephants, carrots, everything from hay to the elephants, bananas for the monkeys. To meat for the lions, to plankton for the whales. While he was looking around, Larry found another huge bone, but the dinosaurs themselves were nowhere to be seen. Oh, say, while you're here, could you give us a hand unloading, asked the a guard. After unloading the food, Larry and the guard animals, when they finished, one of them said, Why don't you look in the park? And t as long as you're going that way, why don't you take animals from New York State exhibit with you? They could really enjoy a little walk. On the park, Larry realized he could have been worse off the other guard had to take the giant octopus and the blue whale for a swim in the lake. But Larry did find another big boon. The guards in the park suggested that he try mine Milo Hill of Gins and minerals and of course Larry couldn't refuse to bring a snack to the guards working there. 
Oh, the dinosaur, they were just here a moment ago, said the guard. Maybe they went to the planetarium. In the planetarium, the coyotes were practicing howling at the moon. And, of course, there was a little job for Larry. One of the guards asked him to touch up the, stair the stars on his healing with Laura's paint. When he finished, it was almost done. Larry was desperate. He didn't know where to look next. He noticed that something was going on the museum office. The statues of John Autobahn, the famous bird painter, and the explorers Lewis and Clark he had stepped down from the usual place above the big front there were enjoying a cup of tea and a game of cards. Looking for a dinosaur, little fella? asked Willem Clark. They're in the din din dinosaur room. In fact, they've been been there all night playing hide and seek. It was true, the dinosaur were really there, and not a bone was missing. It seems the guards have been playing the old bone trick on you, said Clark. They just scatter some big bones all over the museum. Then you just collect them and then get you to do their work, but don't be upset. They do it every newcomer. Larry wasn't angry. He just said, well, they won't play that trick on me again, that's for sure. Then he looked at the pocket watch. Hey, we're opening soon, he shouted to the dancers. Ollie, ollie, oxen free. Hurry back to your places. Minerals, whales, oh. The bell is sounding, the big doors are opening, and the visitors are pouring in everything in the museum is ready. Dancers, insect, stars, minerals, whales, elephants, and all fresh rested. But the night guards are exhausted. They are really to go to bed. Did you did you did well tonight, said the chef guard. Not that you had a tough job napping among dinosaurs. It's the others that really work so hard. So I'd like to ask if you do a favor. One of the guards just called in six. Would you mind taking the day shift as well? I'll be glad to help, sir, Larry said and collapsed into his chair. So if you see a guard asleep when you visit the museum, don't wake him up. He might be recovered from a very difficult night. This book is The Night at the Museum. And Larry comes in and um, they scatter bones all over the place. And he says, and he wakes up and he tells the guard that the bones are missing and then they do all these jobs like getting minerals and taking it to the park and painting stars and then um, he noticed somebody in the office and he said, Played the old trick. So they scattered bones all over the place and then the dinosaurs hide in the museum. And then he said, They're, We're opening soon. And then the bell rang. Bing. And then people come pouring in and um, 
they see all this stuff and all this stuff is ready. Bye.